on to a practice exercise on conversion, since we have done conversion. Number one, express each of the following as percentages. So here we see a lot of fractions. We are changing from fractions to percentage. Do you recall how to do it? It's always base 100, right? So let's look at A, 9 over 20. How do we make it to a base 100? We have to multiply by 5. So here, we times 5, we get 45. This means 45 out of 100. That means 45, 100. Okay? We get 45%. Next is 27 over 30. Now, if you look at this, can you change this to 100? It's pretty difficult, isn't it? Okay, so there's another way of working at it. That's to try to reduce it first because you will see that this is not the lowest term. Okay, so we reduce by 9, we get... Uh, sorry, by 3, we get 9. By 3, we get 10. So it's 9, 10. From here, we can change 10 to 100 by multiplying by 10. And 9 times 10, that gives us 90. This means 90 out of 100, which is 90... 100. Okay, that's 90%. Let's look at question uh, 1C. 6 over 150. Try to make it to 100. It's a little bit difficult because 150 to make it to 100 is difficult. So we reduce it. Okay, we can reduce it by divide by 3. Divide by 3, we'll have 2 over 50. And here, we can make it into a hundred times two, times two. Basically, we are making using ways and means to make the denominator a hundred. Okay? Sometimes it's not direct. So in this case, C is four percent. Okay, sometimes it's not direct. We just have to try uh, it around and make, use our creativity or our number sense to make the denominator a hundred. In this case, 1 over 200. This is pretty easy. What do we do? Well, we have to change this to 100 by dividing by 2. So here, we also have to divide by 2. 1 divided by 2 gives me 0 0.5. Now, how am I going to put this as a decimal? Just 0 0.5 out of 100, which is 0 0.5, 100. Okay, so it's 0.5%. Next, express each of the following as fractions. Now we're going to change from percentage to fractions. Okay, so I always think of the percentage, for example, 20%. I always release it and make it into, make this percentage sign to 100. Okay, 100, and I put 20. And since it's fraction, we have to always make sure that it is reduced to the lowest term. So we cancel, we get 2, 10, and then we divide by 2, divided by 2, we get 1, 6. Okay? Next, we look at B, which is 46%. We can change it to 46 out of 100. Can we reduce it further? Of course. We divide it by 2, and by 2 we get 23 over 50 to be the answer. Next, we have 175%. Okay, so 175%, if you change it, will be 175. Release the percentage into 100. So in this case, we know that this is an improper fraction. That makes one whole 75 over 100. And can we reduce 75 over 100? Yes. Divide by 25, it gives you 3. By 25, it gives you 4. So this is 1 and 3 quarter. Alright? And what about 0.8%? 0.8%. You have to change it to 0 0.8 over 100. Okay? And then in this case, we don't want to have any decimal in a fraction, right? So let's try and get rid. To get rid of this decimal, we must times 10. This is something different, huh? So we get 80, oh sorry, rather 8, because you shift one decimal place, over 1,000. Okay? And then we divide by 2, 
and divide by 2, we'll have 4 over 500. We can divide by 2 again, divide by 2 again, we get 2 over 250. Divide by 2, divide by 2, we get 1 over 125. Okay, 1 over 125. Next, express each of the following as percentages. This is from decimal to percentage. Do you recall how to do it? It's from decimal to fractions to percentage. Do you recall? Okay, so from decimal, 0 0.14, how do you change it into a fraction? Look at the decimal places. There are two decimal places, so it's over 1, 0, 0, two decimal places. And 14 will be right on top here. And how do we change this to a percentage? You see, this 100 is convenient, so 14 over 100. So that makes 14%. How about B? 0 0.005 as a percentage. So we have 0 0.005. We change it into a fraction first, right? 1, 2, 3 decimals. 1, 2, 3 decimals. And since it's only a 5, we put a 5 up here. Now I'll drop.